So we're going to show folks how to take their site offline. If you don't want the site to be active, Jen, feel free to hop in at any time. To take your site offline, one option is to go to System and Global Configuration. And right under Site, under the Site tab, there's this option, Site Offline. Uh, right now, if I go to the front end, click on that link, here's the front end of the site. And so in the back end of the site, let's go click Yes to take the site offline. We'll return to the front end and refresh. Oh, wait, I should save. Let's click Save. And we get our green message. Let's return to the front now and refresh. And we still get our logo, which is cool. Wish it were centered, but right. we get this is a, the site is down for maintenance, and this is the... Um, that's a standard. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty standard. Text, yeah. But you can actually change that, right, in that same spot in your mm -hmm. global. Right here. So here it says, "Yep, see how it says use custom custom message," and then it shows the site is down. So we can change it to say whatever you want. Okay. Um, and well, then I... also there is an image too that you can insert. Okay. Okay, right here? Yeah. So I can select an image, and this will go to my media manager, or I could probably browse my computer down here. So what would be the point of adding a custom image like this? It would just give some personalization to it. Um, again, if you're creating more of like a splash page type feel, and you wanted to have something unique there that it just gives it more than just a plane. Okay. Let's save those changes and return and refresh. There we go. So did it actually replace your logo? I think it did. It did replace the logo. Yep. So that custom image replaces the logo. Yeah. So I'm trying to see if um, 